Hello, um, this is a video partly about upgrading and partly about power consumption. Um, the PC is a modular system. Um, there are lots of different parts that you can buy from lots of different companies and you plug them all in and um, amazingly they tend to work. Um, this also means that you can swap bits out when you get the cash or when you get um, when you need to and you can be quite cunning about it too. You don't need to rush out and buy a new PC every time a new game comes out. You can swap out various bits and the bit that tends to get swapped out the most is the graphics card. For example, this one has now got a GeForce RTX 2060 Super in it. But what was a bit unnerving was um, on the system requirements it says 550 watt or greater system power supply. Ooh, because this is actually got a 500 watt power supply in it. It's a Be Quiet L8 500 watt, um, which is a quality power supply. And um, this is why we'll see um, why buying quality is um, a good thing. So the actual machine here is an i5. It's a 9600K. It's the Strix Z390F motherboard. It's uh, got a mechanical drive in it and an M.2. So that kind of combination of general components is pretty typical. And we're going to really, really upset it now. Um, there are different ways to do this. Um, I find the most effective way when um, I'm stress testing the computers that I build is to um, run Prime 95 and Fermark at the same time. Um, so at the moment we're idling at 40 nine watts or so, 50 watts maybe. As you can see, the processor is just sort of ticking away at 32 degrees. The GPU is at 32 degrees uh, and there's nothing really much going on. So let's change that. So we'll run Prime95 and we're gonna do the torture threads and off that goes. And you can see the CPU utilization has immediately jumped to 100. And the temperatures are starting to rise a little bit. Uh, but it's only drawing 130 watts. So, um, yeah, let's run Fermark and really make it cross. So with Fermark, uh, there's a GPU stress test button, which I'm going to um, press, and then I'm going to completely ignore the warning and click Go. And there's the hairy donut whizzing around. And... Um, the GPU has now jumped up to 98% utilisation and the CPU is already at 100% and now we're doing 325 watts. So this is generally this is the worst case scenario. The, the, the components that are going to draw the most juice out of the power supply are going to be the processor and the, um, the graphics card. Um, there will be a certain amount of power used by the mechanical drive and the motherboard and the LEDs and that kind of thing. Like for example, when it's turned off with the LEDs off, um, it still consumes 1.3 watts anyway. So it's sort of, there's, a, there's a little bit of a warming thing going on. It is drawing power anyway. Um, but the only way to really, really, really get it cross is to have the processor running on all cores at a 100% and the GPU um, running as fast and as stressful as it can possibly be. Completely utilised and um, that's what we have here. So at the moment we're doing 326 watts. We'll see if it increases. It might increase as, it, as the temperature rises. Um, but uh, we're doing okay, aren't we? We're well below 500. Well below 500. So what Zotac, in this particular example, what they've done is they've, they've said, well, what if they've got a really crappy power supply? What then? Yeah. So they've obviously done a few tests and realized that the, the GPU will draw a certain amount of power, which is probably about 200 watts, isn't it, if you think about it? Um, and they've just basically been very cautious about what they recommend. Because if you've got a good quality power supply, a good quality power supply will deliver the wattage it says it's going to deliver, whereas the low quality ones don't. Um, they might say they're 500 watts, but they won't necessarily deliver that when they're called to. Um, 
Be Quiet is a is a good brand. Um, so this, I'm pretty. I was pretty confident that this was going to be able to handle it. Um, so we're looking at 350 watts now. So as it as it gets a bit hotter, the, the juice consumption gets a, a little bit higher. But we're really um, we're really stressing it out now. Um, the heatsink is an Octua NHD15, which because of this case, um, I can only fit one fan on, which is a bit annoying, but it's not making that much difference, to be honest. The highest temperature is about 72 degrees, which is what I would expect. Um, and the bottom line is um, 361 watts. So not 500. The fans are starting to get a bit noisy now. I think we're probably peaked out about 360 watts then. Oh, 362. Yeah. I think we're stable now, around about 362. We'll call it 365 watts. Um, yeah, so it's fine. So as long as you buy good components, especially when it comes to things like the power supply, when you swap out other components, you don't end up with a nasty surprise. So that's good. So I'm gonna um, shut it off now, because it will quieten down and you can see that the um, power consumption should drop. And we'll stop the um, Prime 95 from doing it itself and we'll quit that as well. And you can see that the, the fans should quieten down and we've dropped right down to um, 50 watts again. Um, you might notice Shadow of the Tomb Raider in the bottom corner. That's quite, if you can't be bothered or you're a bit scared to run Prime 95 and Fermark, because they are extreme, that, that's an extreme case. You're, you're stressing the processor 100%, which won't happen in games. And you're stressing the graphics card 100% as well, which also will not really happen in, in games at all, because you, you're, you're after the frame rates at the resolution and you don't necessarily have the, the card running at full whack in order to achieve that for your given native resolution on your monitor. So it's a completely artificial top ceiling of, um, of sort of stress and power consumption. And obviously it, it w fell well below the 500 watts. So um, yeah, now you can get one of these little power meters yourself and test it out. They're not expensive and they are, they are kind of useful for this. Um, all the machines I build go through this just to, just for interest. Um, this one was particularly important because um, the power supply was lower than the spec, but I was pretty confident that it would be all right and it has been. So um, yeah, brilliant. Any uh, questions or comments, then stick them in the comments. If you've um, um, liked the video, then liking and subscribing would also be nice. And um, as always, thanks for watching.